the twelfth Sunday after Pentecost, year A, from the Epistle to the Romans, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. For a sheep or a bull, the end of a sacrifice comes at the point of the knife. For a living sacrifice, however, it's after the party's over that the real work of transformation begins. In our reading from Exodus, when Moses' mother makes the decision to entrust her child to God and to the river, she doesn't act on the impulse of a moment. She has to find the right basket and plaster it with bitumen and pitch. And because she cannot bear to stand and watch her baby as the waters either overwhelm him or bear him up so that he floats away, she appoints another person to perform that task in her place. And when Miriam, her daughter, fetches her to serve as a wet nurse for Pharaoh's daughter, Jochebed commits herself to the care of an infant she can no longer name or acknowledge as her own. Again, when Moses is older, she must hand him over to a family she knows to be the enemies who have risen up against her people, a family who will swallow up her child alive, even in the midst of their fierce anger. She hands her child over, not knowing what they will make of him. But Jacobet's trust in God, moment by moment, is what lays the foundation for the salvation of her people. And though Peter's proclamation is the rock on which Jesus builds his church, Peter must then accept the consequences of God handing over his own son to a humanity that will plot together and rise up against him. What, in Paul's words, is good and acceptable and perfect takes discerning of God's will as we go along trusting that the basket into which we have placed our hopes and dreams will remain watertight, not just for this moment, but on into an undetermined future. We must trust that had the Lord not been on our side, we would never have made it this far already. Our help is in the name of that Lord, the maker of heaven and earth to whom we give praise as Father, Son, and